I hope you're hungry because I am declaring it lunchtime. Chef Jose Agundes is here from Somi in Pioneer Square, which is actually located in a former beer hall and has a whole lot of local history we'll get to in a moment. But first, welcome, Jose. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, I'm officially drooling because I'm looking at all these amazing dishes before me, but what are we making today? Today we're going to make a herb ricotta gnocchi Ooh, okay. with the brown butter sauce and some Parmesan and fried sage. Let's get started. How do we how do we make gnocchi? I've never made gnocchi before. All right, let's do it. So first yeah. we start with our house-made ricotta, which we do in-house. You make your own ricotta? We do. Look, it's coming right out of the cheesecloth so you know it's real. Wow. And then... And then we're going to start with some flour. Flour, okay. About a cup and a half here. Okay. He's already got it measured out in his mise en place. Oh, yes. I got some French terms, uh, some cooking terms, I should say, which are also French. Okay. Uh, Parmesan next. Parmesan. Ooh, that's you can beautiful. just dump it right in. Yes, I can do that. I'll be your sous chef. Okay. And then if you want to drop in your eggs. Oh, gosh. This is where I get nervous to do in front of a chef. I'm just laughing. Susie's laughing at me. Okay, one. Beautiful. Three eggs? Three eggs. Okay. Two. While you're doing that, I'll season with some salt. Just a little bit, I see there. Just, just a smidge. Just a tiny, just a tiny hint. <laughs> a little bit okay. of pepper. All right. And then we'll finish with our herbs there. Ooh, what kind of herbs are they? Ooh, oh wow. Yeah, so Is that like got, fennel in there? Actually, it's tarragon, dill, and chive. <gasps> that makes a delightful aromatic combination. Okay. All righty, and then we just get right into it. Ooh. So you just get right in there. Oh yeah. When you're at home, do you use gloves? Like if you're making gnocchi at home, just because it's so messy? Uh, no, actually, I just kind of go for it at home. I, I hear that. My friend's husband sells gloves for like a living, and I keep meaning to get a box because you know when you're making meatloaf or gnocchi, it's kind of nice to have a glove. But interesting, he sells gloves for a living. Yeah, it's another story. We'll tell you another time. But <laughs> um, this looks really easy. I thought. I would always imagine making gnocchi was really hard, although I know we're not quite finished yet. So you get it to a consistency that looks like... Just like that. That was easy. Yeah. All right, done. okay. And then what happens? And then from here, we put it in a piping bag. Oh, interesting. Wonder and then I... we'll just pipe it straight into the water. No kidding, that's how you do it? Yeah. I had no idea. All right, let's watch this happen. All right, this, this one. This is where I feel like I would fail, because I would need more skill. Nope, maybe not. Nope, it's quite. Is it helpful if the mixture is colder? Uh, actually, if it's room temp, it's a little bit easier. Okay, you don't want it cold. All right, so you just plop it like that. You just plop it right in. <sighs> Man, I love We'll just do a few. Just a few there. How do you know when they're done? Do they bubble up to the top or they something? They float up to the top. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, and then. Okay. So while that's cooking. While that's cooking, we can make the actual gnocchi itself. And what is this? This is brown butter here. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I could have that in my, do you make that ahead of time? I do. Okay, maybe that's what I need to do because I could put brown butter on everything. It is a, that's almost a labor of love making brown butter, especially on my, I have an electric stove, so it's like you gotta babysit it. Oh, yeah. Nope, you definitely, uh, on electric, you wanna let it, oh, let's crank this up just a little bit here. Okay. So as that melts, um, let's talk about some of the other dishes that you brought here today. Uh, deviled eggs, which I had a friend of mine I, I work with here, who's the guy behind the camera. I always, we always talk about, like, if you're ever at a restaurant and they sell deviled eggs, you 100% order them because they're difficult to make at home. You go for the deviled eggs. All right, which I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try this one with the jalapeno. Nice, that has agave and jalapeno there. Mmm. Mmm. Dude. Okay. That's so good. <laughs> and is that how they come? Like with the different kind of flavors? Yeah, so uh, the toppings actually rotate depending on uh, what we have in house. <sighs> These particular ones, the one you just had was mm -hmm. agave with jalapeno, and then we got some pickled carrot and daikon. Right here? Yep. And then? That's kimchi there. Okay, and then caviar. Caviar. Pork? Uh, yep, back bacon lardon. And then that's actually a Cajun shrimp with uh, chili crisp. Oh, Derek, you are lucky that we're on TV right now that I'm not eating all these. 
Um, tell me a little bit also about the concept of Somi as a restaurant. The, the concept is more of like, um, we want it to be elevated comfort food, mm -hmm. approachable for everyone in the neighborhood to come in and just like enjoy a good meal, grab mm -hmm. a good drink, whether it's alcoholic or not. We also have a non-alcoholic cocktail menu. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. We have quite a few menus, actually. We have a lunch from 11 to 3. Yeah. And then we have dinner from 4 to 8.30. Yeah. Happy hour, 4 to 6. And from 2 to 4, Wednesday through Saturday, we actually do Meg's pop-up, where we do our smash burgers. Okay, that's what's really cool. So we saw that sign initially in those pictures you were just looking at. So Meg's is a kind of a staple right in in the pioneer square area and that smash burger was a thing and you brought me one i'm just I gonna did. eat it right now this looks beautiful um oh my gosh that's so good <laughs> that is a smash burger the oh, secret is our special later. sauce what is a special sauce oh it's special it's secret <laughs> you know, sometimes I get it out of people, so that's why I had to ask. <laughs> All right, let's finish making the gnocchi. All right, so now that our butter is melted, we're going to throw in some shallot. Mm. We're going to throw in the gnocchi itself. I really want to keep eating that burger. It is a testament of my willpower that I'm not. Seasoning it with a little salt. Okay. A little pepper. Some lemon juice. Oh man, that butter. You can smell it, guys. Oh, this is beautiful. And then we're going to throw in some chive. Okay. You can hear that it's starting to go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. How did you learn to make gnocchi, by the way? Is it something that's self taught or? Yeah, I uh, wanted to go to culinary school but couldn't afford it, so just started working in kitchens at 18. Yeah. And have been doing it ever since. Uh, I had a lot of chefs that taught me. Mm -hmm. um, got some like French training, some Italian training. I had a chef that taught me specifically how to make pasta. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, kind of. You just... taught your. You went to culinary school on your own, in your own world, in your own way. Yep. That's so cool. That is so cool. Oh, look at that. Looks good. Okay. Um, I have to say, I am excited to try it. What I do love is all the different options. Like, we even have this beautiful chicken salad right here. Yeah, our salad, salad with chicken, I should say. It's not a chicken salad, salad with chicken. Um, but I could see myself sharing uh, that salad and this with another person at lunch. So I'm here for it. Yeah, our plates are definitely all very shareable. Mm -hmm. We want people to kind of share the experience, you know? I've got my fork, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, can I just take it out? You can just take it out for if you want. Mm, I'll let you. I'll let you plate it. I'll be, I won't be crazy. They're so pretty. They're little and very bite-sized. Like little pillows of joy. Little pillows of love. Oh man. And you're gonna pour that butter on top because I wouldn't be upset if you did. Oh, I absolutely am. I just gotta <laughs> throw in some. Oh, and some mushrooms. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Well, I have a finished dish over here, so I'm gonna taste this right now because I can't wait. Mmm. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's like caramelized goodness. Yeah, the mushrooms I do on their own. Uh, I do them separately, cook them down with some porcini powder. Wow. A little thyme, deglazed with white wine. And it is amazing. This dish is a labor of love. Everything I've eaten is is every single one of your comfort foods you've ever wanted. Go to Somi. Thank you so much, Jose, for making this beautiful dish for us. Um, now I have some lunch, and I hope you go get some lunch, too.